Aviation is one of the largest industries which has a huge stake in producing greenhouse gas. In 2018, it's estimated that global aviation, which includes both passenger and freight, emitted more than 1 billion tons of CO2. And if you use flight, you are also a contributor to this evil thing. Fortunately, I have never used flight as a transport. But no doubtly, in some circumstances, aviation is unavoidable. It is not a permanent and completely dependent solution to give up this out of flight shame. So we have to solve this problem in a more acceptable and practical way. And fortunately, the mission have started. But how is that possible? Researchers at Oxford University have found a way to essentially liquefy carbon dioxide to power airplanes. They used what they are calling Organic Combustion Method, in short OCM, which refers to the natural process of burning fossil fuel or natural gas. See, when fossil fuels or natural gas burns, their hydrocarbons turn into carbon dioxide and the process release energy and water. The researchers, with the help of OCM, were able to reverse this process and convert CO2 from the air into a liquid that can power a jet just like a fossil fuel do. The procedure involves heating citric acid and hydrogen and then adding a catalyst made of iron, manganese and potassium to carbon dioxide. Now this will be a huge success for the humankind because on one hand it will fulfill the huge need of energy in the aviation industry and on the other hand it will eliminate the carbon dioxide from our atmosphere. This organic combustion method allows creating a sustainable fuel source. On top of that, it also creates a window to remove carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. Tian Kon Xiao, a senior research fellow of the Oxford Department of Chemistry, said, Climate change is accelerating, and we have huge carbon dioxide emissions. The infrastructure of hydrocarbon fuels is already there. The process could help relieve climate change and use the current carbon infrastructure for sustainable development. Now, the researchers performed the said experiment in a small stainless steel container and were able to produce a small amount of substance. So, as you can imagine, the whole procedure is still in its initial stages. However, once commercialized, it can bring down the carbon emissions from airplanes to net zero. And that is what the researchers are hoping to achieve going forward. And as soon as it will happen, I will inform you in detail about that in a video on Clandom. But till then, Try to avoid aviation as much as possible.